This is something I've wanted to try for a long time. Military pentathlon is a sport designed to test the ideal soldier, a sport mainly dominated by big nations such as China, Brazil, and Russia. Originally, military pentathlon included disciplines like fencing and horse riding, but around the time of the Second World War, those skills were outdated and removed for the sport to better resemble the skills needed for modern warfare. Today, military pentathlon consists of five different disciplines, cross-country running, throwing, shooting, obstacle swimming, and obstacle running on a standardized course. And as you know, obstacle courses have gained popularity over the years with TV shows such as Ninja Warriors, and I've tried Ninja Warriors. So how does this original obstacle course compare? Is it harder? Is it easier? Well, I guess we're about to find out. It's been a while since I tried Salmon Ladder. This one is made of steel, so it's gonna be really loud. And also this is really heavy. Samalars are scary. All right, so I'm here with the fastest man in the Norwegian army. Can I say that? Yeah, more or less, right? More or less. I mean, you're on the national team, right? Yep. And you can only compete in this if you're in the army, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or in the in the defense, yeah. So we're gonna try a few like uh, different like strength exercises. I think it's more just for me to gain some confidence before he's gonna break me and Andreas down. <laughs> that they have this stuff here you see people try this with straight arm like this but the, if you're able to lock off you can go much further yeah yeah oh. <laughs> I think you were trying to go too high there Is it gonna come down to uh, like endurance? You think on the running, the obstacle course, or is it gonna come? What is it gonna come down to? Uh, to the anaerobic capacity. Okay. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah. What about the the grip strength? How's that? I mean, you've done some climbing, so. Yeah, but this is uh, pretty bad for me. This is bad for you? Yeah. That's perfect then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that was it. <laughs> it's, impre it's impressive just to be able to do it. So this is the expert. You've been uh, competing for Norway for how many years? Uh, for 17 years on the national team. And you've competed internationally and what's your... Uh... I've never won a world championship, but mm. I've won uh, four Nordic championships okay. and 13 national championships. But I've been told that you've gotten second in the world championships. Yeah. And yeah. that's pretty good for, I mean, Norway has a population of, at that time it was probably like four million. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe only three million. Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, now it's yeah. five. Uh, yeah. But competing against like big nations like Russia and mm. uh, and China and Brazil, mm. uh, I mean, that's really impressive. Yeah, I was really happy about my second place. Uh, yeah. Someone says that second place is the first loser, but uh, <laughs> before that I've been numbers seven, six, five, five, and four, four. Yeah. So uh, just to get on the podium was a big victory for me. Yeah. And how do you uh, think the guys that we're gonna compete against today, how do they compare to you when uh, you're at your prime? Uh, they will uh, easily uh, beat my swimming time, okay. but uh, they uh, will not be close to my obstacle run time because I had a really good obstacle okay. run. And uh, a pentathlon is pretty big internationally, right? Yeah. It's a big sport. Because we, we Googled this before coming here and there are a lot of videos with like 10 and 20, even 20 million views. As we say, it's a military sport it's and it, it's big in uh, those countries with uh, a lot of military yeah. who wants to show military muscles. Yeah. They are 
uh, normally good in military pentathlon. Yeah. For example, North Korea is very good in okay. military pentathlon. How do you think we'll do against your best guy? Uh, it, the obstacle courses are quite technical yeah. and also the swimming obstacle course uh, you also need a uh, good uh, freestyle swimming to mm. achieve well you will learn a lot so tomorrow you will run faster and swim faster yeah. but i think uh, today uh, you will uh, be a bit behind our athletes <laughs> yeah, I think so but i think uh, you have enough uh, power and uh, explosivity to do the exercises without and, problems and will next thing we're going to try is uh, standing long jump two meters and four that's the minimum requirement no, that's the if you want to have the score nine, the it, highest score. Yeah. So the lowest, I uh, I don't know because I don't focus on the lowest. <laughs> yeah. But maybe it's one eighty for men or something. The minimum requirement. That's minimum. But it's uh, it depends on what if you are going to be a uh, uh, in a platoon with weapons and so it mm. requires maybe two twenty to thirty or something. Yeah. <sighs> yes, two forty. Uh, yeah. Really close to the top score at your first try. Yeah. And that's, that's also good. with a cold body, so that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And if it's if it's dry and you warm up, I think you will easily get 245. 245, yeah. Magnus never warms up. I don't warm up really. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, Two, yeah. 55 or something? Uh, this is 50, so it was just above 250. Okay. Maybe we should just do the swimming now. I feel ready. Unless you're gonna do it as well, right? Yeah, I'll try to swim me. Yeah. I mean, it's not normal swimming. It's like an obstacle course uh, swimming thing over under. I was just seeing this on YouTube and it looks crazy. Dive in and mm. after nine meters, you have an uh, obstacle you should pass over and then you dive under the second beam and then you swim further and you have a raft of uh, three meters you should pass under. Then you come to the end of the pool you should get uh, up uh, on a half meter uh, podium, turn around and uh, jump out in the other lane of the pool. Mm. And on the way back, you swim uh, a, a long stretch of swimming and then you need to get under a beam before you can uh, finish at the end of the pool. What, what, are, you, what are you hoping for? Uh, I don't, I'm hoping for second place. So I hope yeah. I beat you. Beat me. Yeah, but time I have no clue what's normal or good. Are you a good swimmer? I'm okay swimmer. Okay, go hard. Ah! It's really tiring. A lot of power, but maybe not <laughs> a lot of technique. Yeah. yeah, you also suggested that he should change his uh, swimming uh, trousers into speedos. Yeah, yeah, of course. How much of a difference does that uh, make? It's, uh, it's a couple of seconds, I would say, but maybe more uh, of a seconds when uh, you make your dive and then you immediately put your arms back. That's maybe not a good idea. A gliding position and yeah. then start with one arm with your uh, freestyle stroke yeah. and not pull both arms back in a breast stroke. I mean, it's the only Andreas I'm trying to be here. <laughs> Let's be realistic. I do think it was a disadvantage to go first though. I mean, just the diving thing. He said could probably save me like two seconds. Yep. <laughs> but you looked pretty fast, I gotta it say. It felt fast, but it probably yeah. looked really slow. I couldn't see anything. 
40.1. Oh. So it was uh, really close to under 40 the first time, and that is uh, good. I think uh, just with a little bit of good technique, I think 35 would be in reach uh, within uh, one day. Oh, really? Yeah. Congrats. Oh, that was tiring. Yeah, I didn't really use the obstacles at all. Like he told, uh, he told me I should like try to push and like use them to create momentum, but I was just focused on the swimming part. Mm. Okay, now let's see the pro. You think you're gonna beat uh, me and Magnus? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> What's your goal? Uh, below 30, I guess. Below 30? Yeah. Twenty-nine point one, and that's uh, yes. That's very good. It's it's a, it's a good uh, training time. I hope uh, in uh, when we are able to have competitions again, and he will top his form. He can go in a twenty-five meter pool at least uh, one second faster than this. Mm. Looked really good. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think we're gonna go through all the obstacles, but maybe show me a few of the more like technical ones, just to make sure that this is done safely. In total, there are 20 obstacles. This is number four. I've seen videos of you guys do this and you do it so fast. So now we'll look, look up with your head, but perhaps look to the sides. Okay. Just to get some air as well. Yeah. Because uh, uh, if you have your face going down, you will uh, keep uh, getting sand mm, in, your, in your mouth and uh, yeah. in your lungs. Two steps yeah. to uh, get down. Okay. I can show you. Yeah. Fun fact, actually, I have the crawling world record, so... <laughs> it's kind of a joke, anyway. <laughs> Concrete pillars, yeah. they will stand still if you hit them. Depends on how thick your head is, I guess, but... Yeah. <laughs> now we're at obstacle 8 out of 20. And what happens if you fail an obstacle? Yeah, I have to do it again. That's gonna cost you a few seconds. Do you sometimes fail an obstacle? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, yeah okay. I, I do. Especially on the balance uh, yeah, okay. obstacles. Yeah, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. So you don't use the rope, I guess, right? Normally not. Yeah. Uh, they're more for uh, for safety. Because I think I should be a little bit more humble than last time. Because I thought everything was going to be so easy, but when you're like really, really tired, even this stuff can be hard. Like if you don't have any power in your legs, it might be hard to get up this wall. This looks more like my style. Yeah, definitely. This, this is more like uh, something to climb. I'm coming over. Lift my legs up. Crossing the arms. Yeah. Is that the only way you people do it? No, we have another way. Okay. Or you, you can choose to to solve it any way you want. But, yeah. Uh, we have uh, another fast uh, technique, uh -huh. but I'm not able to do it myself. Yeah. So uh, we can use uh, Christopher to, to show it. This yeah. one, this technique is for the tall guys. The tall guys. Yeah. Okay. I'm not so, going to use that technique no. then. So it's probably difficult for the small guys. Yeah. So we do. Jump up ah, okay. and over. I'm gonna try your way too. Was that? No. Yeah, that was the way you yeah. did it? Yeah. yeah. Obstacle 15. So is this like a pool? Yeah, this is a pit. A pit? Yeah. Put on your brakes. Yeah. And uh, try to take it this slowly down here. Mm. And then you just fall down. Yeah. What is your uh, p personal best at this this course? In this course, uh, it is uh, 227. 227. No, so 228. Sorry. 228. Yeah. That's so fast. The course is 500 meters. Okay. So from here, from 15, there's another five obstacles, and then the finish line. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And uh, your legs is going to be heavy. Yeah. yeah. And I guess you should try to pace yourself, right? Yeah. Towards, uh, especially for me, I have a tendency not to, to, to always say that I'm going to pace myself, but never really do it. I think I never ran in tights before. It's going to be a new experience. 
Maybe that's gonna improve my running by a few <laughs> seconds, I don't know. Do I look fast? <laughs> Do I look fast? <laughs> yeah. I feel super fast. <laughs> and I've heard that like, cause you slide through stuff and you like crawl, so it's good to cover the whole body. All right, so what are the times to beat here? What's the minimum requirement? The minimum requirement to take the patch in military pentathlon is uh, 4 minutes 40 seconds. So I expect some more of you today than uh, the minimum requirement. Yeah, I mean Mario uh, said that he his uh, personal record is 2.28, so that's almost twice as fast as that. So. Yes, yes it is, yeah. uh, and, uh, but if you are able to manage 3 minutes, I yeah. think that will be a oh, really yeah, good yeah, uh, sure. time. I'm competing against myself here, not the, not him or the times, but I'll try my best, yeah. And it's really hot and humid today too, <laughs> just to add that. On your marks, go! Two thirty nine point ninety three, so just about thousand points. It's wow. a okay training time frame, I think. <laughs> That's a time of uh, 323 and I think it's very good for the first time uh, with uh, just some technical training uh, you can be able to go below three minutes so okay, I see well. on many obstacles he can improve uh, small things everywhere tired not only my legs but my whole body yeah. <laughs> all that blood taste in my mouth will, uh, experience what they call the obstacle cough that yeah. you are <laughs> coughing after the obstacle run especially the first competitions of the year Big shots is so anaerobic and uh, you're not used to it. Yeah. So you, you are not sick, but you will cough because uh, lucked out the shock for the yeah. body. 
That's terrible right now because everyone's gonna think that I have corona. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely had that cough before. Maybe we should do it one more time though. What if, Andreas, if you're up for it, what if you and me versus him? Yeah, do we, do we, we might have a chance. You wanna try it? Yeah, man. Because I think combined, we might have a chance. Because if, it, if it's only half of the way, we can probably sprint. We don't have to pace ourselves. I still think he's gonna win though. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna run the first half because I think that favors me a little bit more than the second half. And then Andreas is gonna run from there to the end. It's gonna be close. I hope it's gonna be close. Uh, I've actually done this course once before. Wow, really? So uh, it's a familiar one, but it's yeah. probably like five years now. Oh, okay. So uh, I know I know what it's like. Yeah. So of course I have sympathy with him and stuff. <laughs> and I'm gonna be really tired when I, I get into the finish line. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun to actually be able to challenge. Because I noticed uh, Marius, I think his name is. Yeah. He's actually pretty stressed out right now. <laughs> That's but, fun. Uh, yeah. 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 We just have to give him a, a good fight. Yeah. It was, uh, as expected, much closer, but our guy was still faster. The gap was of 8 seconds, 2.44 wow. and 2.52. Wow! You're tired too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The gap was only 8 seconds. <laughs> what? The gap between you and others, 8 seconds. It's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm impressed by him because Magnus did a really good job yeah. to keep it, uh, uh, keep it uh, even. close, even, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I gave it my all, yeah. but maybe I gave my all too soon. <laughs> when you look at the obstacles, you think that they're kind of, they look tall and scary, but when you start, 
only thing you care about is the competition, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's so tiring. Yeah. Very exhausting. Walk of shame. <laughs> From over, all the way over there to here. I think we both expected it, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm re very impressed by you because that was almost that even. Yeah. But uh, these guys made up something. It was uh, it was different. good to have done it one time one time before I think because even though I was more tired, I knew what was coming. Yeah. And actually, I think the crawling is that's what I'm the best at. <laughs> Cause that's where I actually gained some time on you. Yeah, it is. I think it helps to be smaller on that. So yeah, we got our asses kicked, uh, but it was fun. I mean, it's a good way to stay humble and I don't know, just try something new and try really hard. And that's the good thing about this YouTube channel that once in a while when I do these kind of tests, I try really hard. I always try harder when the camera, when you guys are watching. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing us suffer, Make sure that you subscribe with post notifications on. Also check out Andreas and Marius and everyone. And then we'll see you next time.